Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at Office 365 on the Surface Duo. Is it worth the money? Is it worth it to pick up this device if you are, let's say, a college student or work, working professional that you should pick up this device? Now, in this video, I'm going to be using a lot of the Surface Pen right here. This is a Surface Pen Slim. Reviewed it in a separate video. But honestly, speaking wise, I absolutely love the Surface Pen. Uh, so this is a great combination between the two, but let's go ahead and talk about some of the features you get with the surface with the uh, office 365 This is not sponsored by any way I just want to go ahead and show you guys how effectively it works with the two combination because this is Microsoft who's creating this So it should work pretty well with a Microsoft based device So let's talk about we have documents spreadsheets presentation PDF and email so starting off right away we click on my document you see i start off with my blank one or i can start off with a template just like normal start off with a blank one and now we have right here a word document on my left screen now my right screen we actually still have the new document and the template but if i want to i can actually go back here and select a spreadsheet and this is actually really really cool because what you can do now is for example let's say you do have a you know an excel document up on the right hand screen and this is where I will say this right now. This is where the surface duo is actually in my opinion Could be very very successful especially with the surface duo 2 when they have proven a lot of things that need to be improved on It's the simple fact that you can have the surface you can have the Excel seat right up here, right? All ready to go while you're typing out a document over here so you can just look at a chart or data on the right hand side and be just typing up a document on the left hand side now this actually it gets even more increased if you are a college student like and let's say you have to write a report essay or report on you know uh, on something going on say you know there's a war of 1812 you have to write a report on it you can actually type up your paper on this left hand side and then literally have the resource on the right hand side that you're reading and you you know you're making citations whatever english class it is endless so i would say one thing me not having this in college definitely was a negative because this could be an amazing device for any college student now you already know me guys i already have two dual monitors both my monitors are a thousand dollars a piece so i have two freaking crazy monitors set up with a third monitor in front of me right here so i didn't need this in college but if you don't have that setup this could be a lifesaver especially because you don't have to be tethered in anything to use this uh, actual phone now the cool thing about this is with the surface duo 2 or uh, 1 is you can go ahead and connect this to a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse that so lets you be able to type this up better so for example you could actually have your research on one screen here research on the other screen here and then be able to do all that kind of good stuff and i will say with two screens it definitely is very very cool and unique um um, let's go ahead though and go back real fast. We're gonna go to let's go to um let's go to home the home. Let's go to the home. There we go. Okay, so back to the home here. And another thing I do like, like I said before, is again your presentation and you also got a PDF. So if you want to bring up a PDF file, I know a lot of people. Um, my mom's actually a real estate agent, so she might have a PDF here and might be typing up like a contract over here, and you're kind of referencing maybe names or you know addresses, just keeping that information, you know, right handy for you at all times i know i'm with the comment well i got a dual monitor set up like you mentioned congratulations not a lot of people have that you got to realize that not a lot of people are going to go ahead and have that set up at their disposal and when you look at a phone like this and you funny you that's 700 dollars and you can even get this cheaper 600 dollars if you get the 128 gigabyte model or even cheaper if you have a you know a service provider like at&t that actually offers this for like 400 dollars Imagine having a phone that's like $400 that gives you the ability to run a Word document and a PDF file at the exact same time or Excel or whatever, you know, research you need to do at the same time being able to run that and being able to actually, you know, effectively do research. So I'm going to go ahead and show you just for example here. Okay. So I'm going to look up the war of 1812, right? And I put 1813. One second, guys. Uh, apparently, I'm just stupid right now. 
All right, so if I had the War of 1812, we, we all know that Wikipedia is the most reliable research ever out there, right? I could literally, right, have this up right here, be typing up a Word document like, okay, um, you know, the War of 1812, blah, 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 right here on the left-hand side. This is why, I'll say this, right? This device was made for this, okay? So this is why when it, you're looking at this, you're like, this is so cool. This is actually looks like it's made for this. It is. This is what it's made for. This is what this device excels at. Pardon the pun of it actually can run Excel. But this is where it excels. This is where the device, you see the true, uh, the true potential of this device is for, again, a business professional or even a college student. Being able to have two documents at the same time with the dual screens. I'll tell you one thing that, and everyone I, uh, I've seen comment down below and I do read you guys comments. Everyone says the same thing. When you have two, two screens on this phone, you use it. You never want to go back to one screen. And the reason why is because it is a life changing adventure. It's a life changing experience. And if you want to, you could just go to one screen and type up your document like this. I mean, it probably, it might be a tad bit easier, uh, you know, like holding it like this. Cause this is, you know, traditionally how we like to hold smartphones. And let me see, I think it might be a little glitch right now. Um, uh, let's see, cut. Okay, there we go. Okay, it was just a little, I think it was a little glitch because I had it on both screens at first. Um, so let's just go. As you guys can see, like, if I want to say, like, hey, subscribe, I, I cannot type for, for some reason. <laughs> subscribe to me, uh, to me on YouTube, right? I could easily type that up. I could go back to the other screen if I really want to. And I do have my, you know, exactly my wikipedia article right up here just to look at and kind of reference and stuff like that so if you want to do you know single screens you can but the idea of being able to do dual screens and the same concept applies like i said if you are looking at it in the aspect of okay i can actually do the same thing with excel like you know again i'm doing a lot about word documents here but it, let's say you're a business professional and you have employees you might bring up your list of employees over here and have your excel sheet over here where you're keeping the salaries of how much they're making maybe their schedules stuff like that it's just so 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 easy and i'll say one thing when this first came out everyone dog powered this device and honestly they had a good reason the software was crap because they fixed the software and a lot of the issues with it being buggy and glitchy this makes this actual feature so much better the office 365 now the office 365 is going to go ahead and be 30 dollars a month oh sorry a year 30 dollars a year you get a seven day free trial if you would like to go ahead and try out for it there's i have no links for it i'm not getting paid at all by this nothing by microsoft but you can try it out for seven days and like i'm doing right here and if you like it you can go ahead and keep it and it's 30 dollars a year it's very actually very affordable in my opinion it's not really that expensive uh, for you know what you're all what you're getting pretty much if, again like I said if you are a you know a business person or how a student or whatever the case this is a really good uh, deal in my opinion uh, let's go ahead and look open up presentations real fast let's look at presentations so it looks like this is okay, this is like PowerPoint yeah this is exactly like PowerPoint this is PowerPoint I say exactly like a million times when it is actually literally PowerPoint so again like I said, pull up, you know, your research document. Uh, you know, let's just go back to the War of 1812, right? You're trying to look on Wikipedia because you want to have the most reliable resource ever. And then over here, you're creating your whole entire document, your whole entire presentation for this, you know, War of 1812. Guys, I can't stress this enough. You might say, you make videos on this device so much since you got it. You know why? Because I was a hater of this device. I wanted to say this device was a failure. I wanted to go ahead and not pick it up. I wanted to say, hey, it's it, it's stupid. What's the point? It's buggy. It's glitchy. And I made a video about it. And then I bought it. You know, I said, I, I, I said this video, I said this device was crap. And I said, I'm going to buy it just so I can prove it's crap. And ever since I bought this device, opposite. Complete opposite. And the price tag right now you can get it for, you can't pass this device up. If you have the money, 
you're a business professional or not even a business professional. That's just for Office 365. If you are a person who just loves tech and you want to try something out and you want to be able to, you know, you can read some books, you can go ahead and play Xbox Game Pass. You can do so many different things. You got to give it a try if you have the money. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.